So the F1 project uh, began with uh, students getting into groups, teams, and within their groups they chose team names. After they settled on team names, they sketched a car design. After this, they went to um, the computer lab and the graphic designer got to work coming up with the final draft of the design. There was also a logo designer in each group and they designed the logo for their team. There was the typist who was responsible for typing out everything into words, what the process actually was. And there was the quality control that oversaw everyone within their group. And at the end, they worked together and using the teamwork and using the cooperation strategies already in place from the start, they successfully designed and actually got to race their cars when they went on the uh, field trip to F1. I am a typist and my job is to uh, type three things for our team. Number one, team name. Number two, team colors. Number three, car design. Uh, we all uh, make our ideas by ourselves. Then we choose which one we like the most. Then we put it in one car design. I think the building part of the class was the, the challenging bit because we had no real instructions. We had to work as a team together, the kids had to figure it out. But I also think it was very good for, it tested their listening skills and to follow instructions to the team because if anything was not done exactly precisely where it should be, um, then the car wouldn't work. And I think teamwork here really came into play. So that was a nice thing to see. Um, the designs, the children were really creative and I was quite surprised though that they came up with excellent and fitting car names, team names and the cars were really colourful and beautifully designed and assembled at the end of the day. And I think the cherry on the cake was the trip to the circuit and I think we were very privileged to be part of it and fortunate and we're really looking forward to do it again next year but then this time we will know exactly how to do it, where to start, and it will be a step up. So the trip itself was twofold. The first step was uh, bringing the cars and racing them against each other within your class. And uh, the students got to see who had the best track time, also who had the fastest reaction time, so when they were pushing the trigger, um, which student uh, was the best at very quickly pushing it. And then the second part of the trip was a tour around the facilities themselves and uh, the tour guide told interesting facts and information about the circuit and the students actually got to sit in an F1 car um, to make it more practical and hands-on and in addition to that they got to go to the control room where the marshal was so it all told it was part racing and it was also part learning about the actual circuit itself. <laughs> 